Toledo is so well preserved and packed with cultural wonder, the entire city has been declared a national monument. You'll see no modern buildings. It's an ideal place to savor the delights of Spain. Cultural, historic, and tasty. Spain's historic capital has 2,000 years of tangled history crowded onto a high rocky perch. It's protected on three sides by a natural moat, the Tagus River, and everywhere else by formidable man-made fortifications. Toledo was, for centuries, an important Roman transportation hub with a thriving Jewish population. When Rome fell, it was ruled first by the Visigoths and then by the Moors. Centuries later, when the Christians conquered the city, they made it Spain's political and religious capital. In the 1500s, when the city reached its natural limits as defined by its river, the king packed up and moved his capital to more spacious Madrid. Toledo became a political backwater, only to be rediscovered by romantic 19th century travelers. Today, while small in population and of minor importance politically, Toledo remains a vital center of culture, art, and religion. It survives much as it was when Europe's most powerful king called it home. Toledo's handy escalator gives those approaching the city from the bus station or car park a sweat-free lift into town, particularly welcome in the hot summer. Lassoed into a tight maze of lanes, Toledo has a confusing medieval street plan. But major sites are well signposted. Explore. And remember, some of the best attractions come without signs. For centuries, Christians, Jews, and Muslims enjoyed this city together. Toledo's history is a complex mix of these three great religions with an impressive record of peaceful coexistence. Physical reminders of Toledo's multicultural history are everywhere. In the year 711, zealous members of the world's newest religion, Islam, conquered the Iberian Peninsula. For seven centuries, these North African Muslims, called Moors, dominated Spain. The Moors were impressively tolerant of the people they ruled, allowing Christians and Jews to practice their faiths freely. With cultural ties stretching from here, across North Africa, all the way to Arabia and beyond, the Moorish civilization here in Spain was a beacon of learning in Europe's so-called Dark Ages. Mathematics, astronomy, literature, and architecture all flourished. After Christians took back Toledo in 1085, many Moorish craftsmen and builders stayed on, leaving their Arabic imprint on the city for generations to come. This looks like a mosque, but it's actually a Jewish synagogue. It was built in the 1200s for Jews by Moorish craftsmen. The decor, while Arabic in its style, comes with Jewish motifs. The shelf is a Hebrew symbol calling worshipers to listen to the word of God. While the men worshipped in the main area, women worshipped behind the screen. 200 years later, the mosque-like synagogue was retrofitted to be a Christian church. The peaceful coexistence couldn't last forever. Spanish kings united Spain into a Christian nation. They gave Jews and Muslims a choice, convert or leave. In 1492, sure, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, but that was also the year that Spanish Christians exiled the Jews and successfully kicked the Moors back into Africa. A sweet remnant from its Moorish days is Toledo's famous marzipan. Shops all over town sell marzipan goodies in ready-made gift boxes, but I like to select my own. Gracias. Adios. A great thing about travel is trying things you've never tried before. For years I've been looking at these fruity marzipan and I've, I've never tried one. It's actually good, but I'm gonna stick with the purest. This is the Sin Rieno. Oh yeah, top quality marzipan.